All right, Cleveland, you ready to jump into uh, part five of our series where we're going to make your uh, WordPress website from, from scratch? Uh, yes, I am. And, and uh, thank you for continuing this, by the way. You stalled for like a week. And in that time, oh, that's nice. Somebody actually just decided to subscribe to the website. Uh, we should mute that. Uh, but uh, yeah, and in that time, I feel like I probably lost a lot of money. Um, so, you know, not having a website. So it would be nice if I could get compensated. Uh, for that uh, somehow maybe I can you write me a check uh, no I can't but what I can do is I can show you how to uh, install a, a, a brand new theme over here we've already talked about um, you know previewing and activating some of the free ones uh, but now let's move on to um, you know let's say you bought a premium theme which I would highly recommend doing I think it's um, it's gonna be worth it for you to do that and if you do uh what you want to do is follow the same steps i've just uh, gone through themes add new and then uh, go to upload uh and uh, you can you can upload the dot zip file that you got from you know, basically the deliverables that you, from wherever you purchased your theme uh, uh, the site theme forest has some great ones uh i would um I would actually take an alternate journey, go uh, just directly over to uh, Swift Ideas and uh, check out some of their themes. I think a lot of them are really um, somewhat similar in terms of the um, – they kind of come – it's a theme that also comes with a, a very snazzy uh, plugin that kind of makes it so that all this uh, crazy cool stuff is possible, some of what you're seeing uh, right here. And uh, and I think that th that, that – um, that Swift Framework plugin is shared a, among many of their themes, so uh, you'll probably be able to do a lot of the same stuff. And uh, again, just but you know they have a test drive button over here. Go ahead and check out some of the things that you can do, and uh, it is completely affordable. It's, um, if you're going to buy now, by the way, I don't get anything for. Oh, that actually goes right over here to Theme Force if you buy it. So sixty four bucks. Come on, this is the look of your website. Pretty darn important. Uh, so I'll slide that away. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, upload the uh, the dot zip file. Uh, you could go right through here another option you could do is uh, to connect to your server so let's uh, jump in over here and we're going to go to uh, WP content so I'm using the uh, FTP route or oh, the uh, the FTUP right that's the pr pronunciation for that FTUP it is uh, absolutely not uh, okay so uh, once you're under themes uh, then from here what you could do is let me just bring this in oh well I guess I can't ma manage to do it <laughs> There we go. All right. Uh, so if I was going to do it uh, this way, I would not actually upload the .zip. What I would do is, uh, and I do want to be sure that this is named correctly, is uh, just just drop it into here. And it is going to take a while to um, to upload. So I suppose that we could um, pause the video. Uh, yeah, is that really our style, though, to just pause things when uh, there's a long upload going? I mean... We could uh, we could always talk about uh, ways to um, search engine optimize. <laughs> uh, what, what do you what do you know about search engine optimization? Uh, well, I know that uh, the, if you don't want to say the, 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 those three words over and over again, we could start referring to it as SEO. Uh, that's not bad. We're off to a good start. Uh, well, what else? Oh, well, uh, just recently I noticed that uh, I just happened to be uh, number one under uh, tractor towing services in the uh, the River Falls area. So I thought that that was – I was pretty impressed but that I could get up there uh, as quick as I did. And you know what it was? I, I think Google actually has a similar um, – uh number one ranking system that uh that that uh, six flags has so if you go to six flags and you tell them something like uh i got this trick knee and uh i can't really wait in the line like the other people could you give me maybe a uh some sort of a pass uh maybe a disability pass to get to the very front uh, and what they'll do then is they'll ask you, do you have a doctor's note? And then you have to say things like, well, I um, I can't believe that you wouldn't let me do this. And I'm on vacation. So, of course, no, I, can't, I don't have a doctor's note. I'm not going to drive back to River Falls just to get the doctor and everything like that. And then after a while, you start wearing them down to the point that they decide 
we're going to let this guy be the first one in the line um, <laughs> because of his trick knee. So what I did is I emailed all of that same stuff to Google. I just I found a it was just uh, uh, I think the number I think the email the number I think the email was just uh, 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 Google at Google at Gmail. No, it was Google at, at Gmail dot com. And I just kind of laid out the whole thing for them. And I said, uh, if you can uh, just make, uh, you know, my tractor towing services. Uh, number one, because, and I do have the trick knee, so I can't wait like everybody else. And it turns out they did it just right away. The next day, are, are you sure you didn't just happen to write the words tractor towing services, which are kind of a unique combination in reference to your hometown, and Google just happened to pick up on that? Uh, no, I think it was probably, well, maybe that and the uh, the email that I wrote. Are we still uploading? We are still uploading. But anyway, it um, so I am number one now, and I would like to advertise that on the website because if somebody gets their tractor stuck, it takes a very specific type of uh, towing service uh, to get that out of the the uh, turmoil that it is in. Uh, do you, how often do you, um, what, 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 how often do you do this and why? I mean, how, how do people get them stuck? Oh, that could be all sorts of different reasons. Maybe they drove into a flood zone thinking that the tractor would have no problem with the flooding. Or it just broke somewhere. And actually, my last job was uh, the mayor drove over his... Uh, he drove his tractor over his uh, his ex-wife's mailbox. And I think that that was actually maybe intentional. He didn't realize that the uh, tractor couldn't handle the uh, <laughs> the mailboxes as well as he thought he did, it could. Oh, and you know what? Look, and look at this. We, all, we did filibuster <laughs> most of of the uh most of the up to upload it is right to down to the very wee end <laughs> you said that that was the the mayor of your town uh yes yes he's also uh, <laughs> uh one of many town drunks so <laughs> driving the, the tractor over the mailbox seemed like a great idea at the time all right so we do have the uh a cardinal uploaded now let's go uh is there t is there any association with the catholic church that cardinal name I don't think so at all. All right, so let's go over here to appearance themes. And uh, yes, there it is. We now have our uh, cardinal uh, the theme in here. So let's uh, let's go ahead and try to activate it. <laughs> it seems ominous anytime you're going to do this. Uh oh, what is this? Uh, install required plugins. Okay, well let's this. Let me just uh, jump in here. This one we definitely need. Okay, the the rest of them are somewhat optional. And let's. Um, Let's go back to return to required plugins installer. Uh, see, I never use this, this, this. They have a slider that these are recommended. They have a slider of their own that I think is is better than the ones that are is, is, is that they give us over here. Uh, so yeah, these are they do just say recommended. So I think what we should do is just kind of dive in and let's go and make a a, a brand new page. Um, or actually, you know what we should do? Let's let's first go over here to theme options, our general options. And I believe that this is going to take us. It's been a while since I've set set up one of these from scratch. But I, I believe that this is going to take us to where we can um, define our main star page. Because if we were to go to the website right now, let's just take a look. It's really a shame you couldn't get the A over there for American made. I, I, I think that's going to confuse people in the long run. Well, not if, yeah, maybe. We'll see. Okay, well, that, obviously that didn't change much with the website. It does look maybe a tad bit better. But uh, So you're saying what we want to do is we want to land on a, a static page, right? Uh, right, and I do actually remember how to get there now. Go, It's kind of a um, – I'm sure there's two ways to get there, this. But go to that color customizer, and that's going to give you this kind of live preview over here of what um, – what you can do, go to static front page, and what we want to do is click on a static page, and um, I guess for right now, just click on your your sample page, but really what we'll end up doing is switching this to something that makes a little bit more sense, like writing home or something, right? Oh, look at that. I didn't even realize I wrote all this stuff over here. No, you didn't. It's just... Again, this is a sample page. So just for right now, click uh, Save and Publish. And what we'll do is we'll go um, back over here and uh, let's let's actually make that new page. So that we're going to go to All Pages, Add New, and let's give this something that um, that makes sense to us, like Home. Okay, so click on Home. We want to switch over here to our Swift Page Builder, 
And from now, we, we don't need to uh, put in sort of any, any kind of uh, short codes or anything like that for some of the fancier stuff. What we can do is uh, kind of begin building the page with all these uh, neat little modules over here. And, you know, so that some are very basic, like blank spacers. So suppose you just want to add in some kind of breathing room. Um, you know, between elements, you've got a blank spacer over here. Let's, let's just add in a couple different things. We'll put in here a divider. Uh, and then if you wanted to make another blank spacer real quick, you could just click that little clone option. I'm not, I'm, I don't know where I fall on whether or not cloning is a good thing. <laughs> let's not get started on that. Uh, and then let's go over here to, well, let's say just, uh, text. All right. So let's find our text one, just a big old text block. And um, maybe now this we, we want to announce that this is the home page, right? So a lot of times um, these uh, what I'll end up doing is clicking off the default page title. So I'll, I'll click that off and then I'll kind of make a what I think is a, a better or more appropriate page title. Otherwise, what you're going to end up with is this is the page title. So uh, let's just put over here. I'm going to just click the little pencil icon, which uh, kind of universally edits things <laughs> uh, in software, doesn't it? And then uh, so we'll say welcome to, uh, well, let's just make this Cleavon site. How about that? Yeah, that's a little bit more informal. More like, I wanted to kind of speak from the heart, you know. What, so what'd you do? You centered it up? Yeah, and then what we should probably also do is make this a much bigger font. And I, I don't think I am seeing uh, all of my editing options over here. Let's see. Oh, oh, what did you do now? <laughs> Somehow I selected everything. Just click save. Uh, let's jump back in. Uh, by default, WordPress does not show you what I think they kind of consider the uh, the kitchen sink. So click on toggle toolbar, and you'll get a lot of other options over here. And the one that I'm uh, most interested in is the uh, the impact text large. So that's going to make us some nice uh, big text. Uh, let's click on save and then uh, we will uh, publish this. Now, most likely you would not put a divider right up there at the very top. Maybe what we should do is just to get off to as, as good of a start as possible, we'll we'll drag our text box above that one. And that is part of the neat thing about this is you can just uh, drag things around uh, to arrange them. You can also, for example, make this uh, box smaller by, uh, you know, adjusting the width of it. Of course, if you're going to do something like that, you'd probably want to have another spacer, you know, over there and, and fill in another one over here. Uh, and, uh, and the neat thing about this is it's all, um, mobile friendly too. So th these things are going to look different based or basically they're going to kind of cascade a little bit differently based on uh, whether or not it's a mobile device. Uh, but, uh, let's just for right now, let's make everything back to being at, um, 100 or just 100 percent width uh let's uh let's update it one more time then we'll actually preview this and then we can go back to our uh, color customizer or our live preview and set that uh, static page so all right here we go preview changes and this happens all the time with wordpress it just uh, every once in a while just drops the connection yeah, well, you never know. You never know what's going on in their world. Uh, well, I, I would say that uh, we're off to a good start, but maybe not informing the people too much about what we do at the Cleavon site. Well, it's just page one. <laughs> first five minutes of your page existing. So, all right, let's back up real fast. We'll go back over your static front page just to kind of make sure it has it. It doesn't have it in here. Let's just go ahead and reload the... Uh, the color customizer so it should refresh everything and get us all of our possible pages back all right so there it is home and uh sure enough there it is it says uh, welcome to uh, cleavon's uh, site oh and i didn't even notice this it's getting cut off but you can actually preview how this would look on uh, different devices so this would be like a tablet version what's a tablet like the thing moses brought down <laughs> did they, i don't think they had a <laughs> websites back then right uh, who knows? All right, so uh, let's just keep it like that, and we'll just save it over here, and then um, then we can start thinking about the the colors. Uh, yeah, because this, um, I mean, I'm I'm I, I liked a, a good, nice, dark uh, black color, but uh, this has got to scream America, you know. So we're gonna have to throw in some reds and some blues and stuff like that. We do have the white pretty much settled up. 
Well, I guess then in that case, let's see how quickly we can get over here and um, let's look for color footer. Okay, so uh, just click right here. Let's find a blue and uh, it might not be the one that um, I'm thinking of because this hasn't certainly hasn't changed the blue over here. What about footer border color, copyright border color? Uh, maybe we could change that to red. These these should be updating live, so I don't. I think we're maybe in the wrong place. But let's let's go ahead and we'll save it. And we'll just um, we'll just check it out. Let's see if maybe it did make. Oh, it didn't change it. I wonder why it didn't uh, do it live. But it doesn't really matter too much. That is looking pretty darn fresh right now. I want to get rid of that copyright <laughs> under the bottom. It should say something like uh, 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 uh Cleavon Corp, a, a very, very limited liability company. Could we do that? Uh, yeah. Um, there's all sorts of stuff we could we could do initially. Uh, I mean, we are just going to be playing around with this for quite a while to get your website looking right. But, uh, yeah, go under footer and then, okay, here you go. So there's the, what do you want? Uh, what, what are you considered? Cleavon Corp, is that right? Yeah, it's Cleavon Corp and then write, a very because i really this is really important put that all in caps a very maybe the second one not in caps but w just having one in caps is very emphasizing i feel like a very very limited how do you spell limited limited liability it's funny that the word lie is in <laughs> liability uh, uh very company there we go that's perfect i just want people to know that uh you know, if I fall off the ladder or one of my guys falls off the ladder, there could be issues. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, why don't we not talk about that? Uh, and uh, all right, so now let, let's do something neat. Let's let's put in a slider, okay? So I'm going to add a new slide. And this, this is something that we can make be a header at the top of the website. Could, uh, could, you, could you do a nice big American flag? Sure. Um, let's just title it uh, American Flag. Uh, could it be a video? I don't actually have a video of a flag right now. I guess I could look for one, but let's let's just worry about an image for right now. So we're going to go over here to slide background image, and we do want to um, select a, a, a an image for this. So let's go, I guess we'll just find one on the internet. <laughs> well, look at that right there. It says American flag royalty free slow motion video. This is exactly what we need. And there's even a zoomed in one. Uh, yeah, for right now, maybe what we should do is, let's do this. Let's, um, is that already in HD settings? Can we go bigger than that? Ooh, look at that. Let's not worry about the video right now, but we could, this guy says it's all right to use, as long as we give him credit somewhere, if possible. Keyword being, if possible, I suppose. All right, so all I did is I just took a little screen capture of that. Um, there are plenty of ways to do that on the Mac, but uh, that's a different story. I don't feel like explaining how to <laughs> take a screen capture. You, you, I'm sure you, people can, most people know that. Otherwise, they can just Google it. So uh, now what we're going to do is go over here to uh, select or upload images. Oh, now you get to reveal your disgusting desktop that is just full of so many icons and things that don't make sense. Do you think it's a good idea to name your images something other than screenshot? Uh, yes, it's a very good idea, actually. Uh, Google does happen to look at, um, if they're doing uh, scanning for images and things like that, um, they, would, uh, they, would, they would take notice of that. So we don't have to give this a title or alternate text, but I'm, I'm just, I think it is a good point. Uh, hmm, looks like we might need to, uh, what is going on with that? I've never seen that before. Let's... Let's publish this and just see why that would be. Oh, well, it went away. So that's my favorite type of uh, problem, one that uh, fixes itself. <laughs> so, uh, all right. Now, now what you're saying is, so we've got the background in there. And uh, so we could now put in a, a better title. Maybe um, how about American Made, right? To kind of reiterate. We, we probably can't write that enough times, right? I don't know. Sure. So put in a caption title, click update. And uh, actually, there's one last step that we need to uh, do over here. Go to add new category. Uh, and let's just call this uh, homepage flag or something like that. Flash. 
he just won't let it go that the Adobe <laughs> renamed that. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, so now click update one last time. <laughs> yeah, right, the last time, sure. Uh, and then uh, we're going to go back over here to our homepage, uh, refresh this just at least once so that we... Um, Look, our flag is still going over here. I actually kind of like that. It looks nice. Oh, no, I think we've moved on to somebody else's flag. Google, uh, YouTube did the autoplay thing. All right, so now what we want to do is go uh, down to our page header uh, slash slider. And by the way, if you do see some options over here that seem to be miss <laughs> missing, there's, um, there's some things that you can uh, toggle on or off. Uh, and I guess actually most things are in here, so we'll fold that back up. But uh, do, do be aware of that. Uh, could just get on to putting the flag on there. Don't talk about anything else. Why did that zoom in like that? It's still doing it. There you go. Okay, page, no, not menu. Uh, Swift slider is what you want, right? Yep. And then uh, go over here to, uh, not the all category, just your homepage flag. And um, if you did have uh, multiple slides, <laughs> yeah, sliders with that same category then you can choose if you want to play them randomly if you want to um have the most that you want to show uh if you want them to be uh full screen uh, in this case no but we're going to set the max height pretty high so something like 600 uh if you want want them to auto play you can put in here so 5000 is like five seconds uh you can uh, choose if they fade or slide into each other if um, they loop if you're going to put the navigation icons um, and you can kind of just play around with those and see what what each of them does um, one is like a little button to kind of slide the page down from the slider i'll show that one should show because we left it toggled on so let's go ahead and view the page now holy cow we're actually getting somewhere look at that oh it's beautiful we do need to make that animated though so this is the continue thing oh i see so it goes and uh, we push down and uh, then it goes to welcome to cleveland site so how do we make a million dollars from this point <laughs> what do you mean oh I, well i mean i got the website can i just sell it to somebody now for uh you know i, I actually i would take if anybody is listening i would take far less than a million dollars for this website i would take probably like five hundred dollars for the website but well, let's start at a million and then we'll just let the bidding kind of go down from there is that that's how an auction works right uh no 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 i think you started a number and then you're that's you're saying that's the lowest that you want well, hold on a second. If someone's going to call to buy the website, I don't think that that's my phone number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think I was lucky enough to get that. Maybe I do. I have it now. Now that I got the website, did they just give me a new phone number? No, it's just yet again one of the many things that we need to change. Listen, we've done this for 22 minutes. I feel like we've at least taught people something or other here. Uh, so we'll just continue editing um, your your website uh, like another day. Is that all right? Well, every day that goes by, I lose money. But <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me at least put on here the tractor towing phone number. No, we'll just forget it. Okay, well, um, did you want to tell people to go to uh, cartoonsmart.com? Look at the flag it got wrapped up over here. <laughs> that's, that's, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to go back one a little bit. Maybe that should be. Well, it's going to whip around in a second and get all tangled up. Maybe that should be. <laughs> <laughs> the cover for my thing. We'll just take a little snapshot real fast. <laughs> we'll go, you, you caught that flag at the worst time. Uh, yeah, I think you're about right. All right, so uh, yeah, yeah. If you want to hear non uh, or more serious tutorials that don't include Cleavon, go to cartoonsmart.com. That website again is cartoonsmart.com. Do you want to spell it, Cleavon? Yeah, it's uh, C A R uh, T O N. No, you're forgetting one of the O's. T O O O. Is that right? Three O's. N and then S M R T. No, I'm not. Forget it. All right, just shut it down.